talking about the National Hip Hop Museum. I am just such a fan of everything that goes down here at the hip hop shop. We've got fashion, we've got clothes spanning the genres and truly embodying everything that is the culture. So you definitely got to make it down here to the hip hop shop again in Northwest Washington, D.C. But at this point in time, we've got to talk about history. We've got to talk about culture. We've got to talk about April the 4th and all of the excitement that's going down then. For that, I've got digital director CLB in the business and my main man, Master G as well. Sure. Now, Master G, me and you, I feel like we are longtime friends yes. at this point. Yes. So yes. CLB, I'm going to begin with you. How did you go about becoming the digital director and why is that something that's important to you? Oh, wow. So my story goes back with our founder, Jeremy Beaver. I used to broadcast from his studio here in D.C. I watched the collection grow to a magnitude where we eventually had to launch the museum. So we partnered so that I could create and promote and maintain the brand of the National Hip Hop Museum. Wow. And Master G, of course, yeah. you being an absolute legend and the executive yeah, director. Right there, I want to make sure that we're talking about the hat yeah, that you're wearing yeah. right now. So I'm wearing a different hat right now. That's right. Now. That's right. Okay. That's right. I'm the executive director, and being the executive director, I am asking any questions concerning that affair. Well, Mr. Executive Director, I want to talk to you about KRS-One. Yes. He, of course, is one of our inductees uh, this year that is going to be honored. Why is he important to the culture, important to hip-hop? KRS-One is the prophet. KRS-One is the teacher. KRS-One solidifies the importance of our hip-hop museum. So it's, it's critical that we preserve his legacy because he's one of the individuals that are, that's perpetuating the art on a global level. So it's, 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 it, it has to happen. It's one of those has to happen things, and that's why. We talk about all of the things that KRS-One is bringing to the table. You all have to tell me more about the Temple of Hip Hop, and even more importantly, the Declaration of Peace. Absolutely. The Temple of Hip Hop is an organization uh, led or spearheaded by KRS, and it is the motto is victory over the streets. The purpose and mission of the organization is to help overcome the temptation and obstacles of street life and promote peace within the culture. Wow. Yeah, and the Declaration of Peace is the official document for the organization, and that document has was signed in 2001, presented to the United Nations, it's been signed by organizations such as UNESCO, as well as over 300 different people in the hip-hop culture. Well, I'll tell you what, you all are giving me a ton of information, and I love it. It's time for us to bring in another individual that is going to be honored on April the 4th, Mr. Donald D. Come on into the building. First of all, Don D., congratulations on being inducted. What does it mean to you to be inducted? And talk to me also about a few of the other individuals who are going to be inducted and honored as well. Yes, sir. Well, it means a lot to me. This is a tremendous honor that the museum is doing for not just me and my group, but also the other hip-hop legends that will be honored, like, you know, Sweet G, DJ Hurricane, the Fat Boys. You talking Rock about Shantay. Roxanne Shante, Queen Lisa Lee, Whoa. Shah Rock, yeah. the B-Boy. Yeah. Yo, we're going to be getting down with the real get down. You know what I'm saying? Wow. If that is all going down, we're all getting down yeah. on the 4th at RIAA headquarters. You can check that out. We're talking about the National History National Museum of Hip Hop. You all correct me on all of that as we get it right. But you, Donald D, take us out with a little something. Okay, I'll take you out with one of my classic verses. Fly kids against the wall. Some playing basketball, hip hip hop into the beat, or just chilling on the street. Electric boogies do the pop to the b boys on the box, or break dancers turning red for break dancing on the head rock. <laughs>